of those trials and tribulations it took to get you through to this significant achievement, who would be all the players in that story? Certainly you would receive star billing and probably directorial recognition as well. But if we rolled the credits at the end of the film, who would be listed among the producers? Who was in all the supporting cast in your life? Who were the technical crew members providing their expertise and experience to keep you on the right path? Over the course of the next few days, as you rightfully celebrate your Cayuga graduation, I'd like you to take a few quiet moments to take stock of all the people who helped you get here. Think about those family members who supported you and those friends who encouraged you and probably commiserated with you along the way. Think about all those K-12 teachers and college professors who helped you realize what you were good at and passionate about while still challenging you to recognize those things that you needed to work even harder to master. Think about the role models in your life that you looked up to and wanted to emulate. Coaches, community leaders, pastors, troop leaders, work supervisors, whomever. Think about all those helping hands that poked and prodded and guided and molded you and sometimes provided some firm course correction. There may have been some folks in your life who served as cautionary tales, offering stark examples of what not to do. Hopefully there were only a few along the way who, who thought you just weren't working up to your potential or that you just couldn't cut it. And to whom you vowed, I'll show you. And you have. You've shown us all what you're capable of. Think about that long scroll of film credits, identifying the supporting players in your life. If you have a chance to say thanks to any of them tonight or in the near future, please seize that opportunity. After all, those supporters helped make this day possible for you. If you take the time to acknowledge their contributions to your success, I guarantee that you'll make their day too. On behalf of the Cayuga Community College Board of Trustees, our most sincere congratulations on this major accomplishment. Know that our very best wishes follow you all into your next adventures. Thanks. Thank you, Chair Brown. And now I am pleased to invite the Honorable David Gould, Chair of the Cayuga County Legislature, to share a few words. Chair Gould. Thank you very much. I'm going to be short, so I just want to start off. On behalf of uh, myself, my county fellow legislators, and the over 700 county employees, I would like to thank the college president, Dr. Brian Durant, and the entire, entire College Board of Trustees for the invitation to speak today. I am truly honored to have been, been given this opportunity. I will make this speech very short as there are several speakers participating in this comm commencement and this day is about your achievements and motivations to keep going above and beyond. First of all, you should all be proud of yourselves and your hard work and dedication to get to this point in your life and your graduation. It has been said that you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. The importance of your education is your start into the bigger endeavors and reaching your goals. Your graduation is a big step, and from here on, encourage you to keep stepping forward. If you choose not to, you will always remain in the same spot. Go after that what you want to achieve in your lifetime. This, of course, will take strength, flexibility, and dedication. And I cannot stand here and tell you that you will not have the bumps up and down along the way. However, nothing settle, never settle for the minimum. 
always make a difference and always push for the goal. You have been granted the gift of time to pursue whatever you set out to do. As Maya Angola once said, all great achievements require time. Therefore, be excited, be positive, keep building your self-confidence, and continue to achieve success. It has been my term determination to keep moving forward. Uh, I, following my graduation from high school, I served in the Army, and then I entered law enforcement with state police for 35 years, and a special DA's investigator, and then the sheriff of this county for 12 years. My movement has not stopped. When I completed my term as sheriff, I pursued and won a seat in the Butte County Legislature, and then I was chosen as legislative chairman. If I did not keep stepping forward, I would never have known what could have been accomplished. I would not have these life experiences to talk to you about. I would not have met the people throughout my journey nor gained such valuable friendship and success along the way. Please do not stand still. Reach for the stars that you have set for. My advice to you today starts with this. Define your goals and try to keep the focus around being mutually beneficial to your personal growth and to the strength and growth of your business or your profession and your surrounding community. Get involved and remember that knowledge is power. Use your knowledge to achieve the unthinkable, build relationships along the way, keep connected to people, and please remember where you started at good old CCC. Uh, always be humble. That is a big important word in my life. Always be humble, always be kind, and always, always use these words throughout your life. Please and thank you. You'll be surprised how far it gets you in life. With that, I believe the best decisions made and accepted are done so when you place yourself in other person's shoes and always, always treat others with respect. That is the way you wish to be treated yourself. Life is judgment, and my advice to you is always ensure that all of your achievements are true to you, you, who you are, and what you stand for. Remember that during your life is a journey, and the work you put forth to achieve all those goals will never falter when doing the right thing. Also, be enthusiastic for others and their accomplishments. We all know that words of acknowledgments are motivating to ourselves, so spread that reward. Try not to focus on mistakes. Instead, strive forward with the knowledge gained from those mistakes. Always stand with honor and accept criticism as a form of self-improvement and not a form of self-destruction. Please continue to learn from others. There is no need for me to stand here and tell you how hard you have worked and how many steps forward, backwards, and then forward again it took you to get here today. This is something you know. You always know today how satisfying it is have walked this educational road. Always remember, you, with you, and if you take away anything from my words today, remember, keep stepping forward. Remember that today is the start of your tomorrows. Fill them with movement and accomplishment. Think of it, work towards it, and complete it. In closing, for you, the graduating class of 2022, I commend you for a job well done and wish you the utmost success for a lifetime. Thank you all for allowing me this honor and privilege to speak today. And please, please live by the words of a great coach and a great person, Jim Valvano. Never give up, don't ever give up. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Gould. Tonight is about our graduates, but it is also my special honor to announce this year's Distinguished Award recipients. Professor Emeritus status is an honor conferred by the Cayuga Community College Board of Trustees upon a retiring faculty member in recognition of outstanding contributions to the college as well as the community it serves. Tonight, we recognize three faculty members, Dr. Sharon Kulikin, Professor John Lamphere, and Professor Diana Valdina. Dr. Kulikin and Professor Valdina are unable to join us tonight. 